Hey everyone, welcome back to Week's Watch. So we have a big announcement to make. We're, We're moving. moving. We're moving to Jacksonville, Florida. Right now we are in um, Glen Burnie, Maryland, if you didn't know. <laughs> We're moving to Jacksonville, Florida. We wanted to announce it and tell you guys how it came, how this even came to be and our reasons why. Right, so it starts off with us being able to have the means to do it before I was uh, a middle school teacher for eight years. And, um, and I've been applying for jobs outside of, uh, outside of teaching. And so I finally got a remote job as an instructional designer um, in August of 2022. So with me having a remote job and Kristen staying at home, now we're able to make that Relocate. move. It's a seller's market right now, and the appreciation on homes is crazy. Like, we've only been in our home for not even two and a half years, and it's already appreciated by 20%, so yeah, it's also an ideal time. And we live in a two-bedroom, two-bathroom condo, and there's four of us, so... It's getting tight. It's getting tight. Um, it's 880-something square feet. Yeah. Um, on the third floor of a building that already has steps leading yeah, up to it. live on a hill. We live on top of a hill, steps. so it's 42 steps one way yeah. getting into our front door. Um, and living here for two and a half years, it doesn't get easier. Even though you might think, oh, you might build up like stamina for it. No. Wrong. It's harder, too, because you have to carry, <laughs> carry early, and then there's times where even Daisy wants to be carried. Right, or carrying a stroller, or carrying groceries. Groceries. Mm -hmm. groceries. There are some reasons as well that we're making the move. The number one thing being climate. Yeah. Yeah, so Maryland. Uh, one thing we love about Maryland is you can experience all four seasons, and that's great. But just the cold months, I mean, I think really from like December through like March, mm -hmm. it's just, it's cold. You do have breaks in the weather you have um warm a couple of unseasonably warm days but for the most part it's cold and also just with little kids like art like basie loves the water you guys if you've watched the ocean city birthday trip we purposely went to a hotel mm -hmm. so she could swim and if you haven't watched it go back and watch it um but our kids love the water early loves the water we yeah. love the water yeah. we're beach people and being able to be outside all mostly all year round and just being in like that really favorable weather we, we that's just something that's appealing to us and we know we like the weather because we visited will's parents there multiple times and we just in we, many different seasons many different so seasons the weather's all good my parents um, my mom and stepdad live in St. Augustine, so it's like 30 minutes south of where we're looking to mm -hmm. to buy. Um, another reason why we're making this move, Maryland is a, is a wonderful, great place to live, but it is also a very expensive place to live. Um, you do pay a lot in taxes, and now don't get me wrong, you definitely get your services. Like Those taxes are going to what they're supposed to go to. I feel like there's a hospital in every other corner. The public schools are super well funded. However, Great it is schools. still very pricey. Mm -hmm. So um, being able to kind of recoup that, the the tax you know breaks that we would get moving to Florida is definitely going to help our family financially. And we'll right. get to this later, but we plan to homeschool our kids anyways. So I mean, we don't need to pay for uh, expensive school system that we're not even going to use. Yeah, yeah. Um. Also, another factor for us is that grandparent experience for the kids and grandparent help. Uh, both Will and I, when we were little, we had that good, that grandparent experience where you could go to your grandparents' house for the weekend or on Wednesdays or whenever. Mm -hmm. And that was just so special for us. And we want that for Early and Basie and any future kid that comes along. Um, and Will's mom especially is just really, really involved with the kids. She's able to do that because she's retired. Mm -hmm. And so that's just really helpful because she's retired. She can, she's just more readily available in the way that we want. 
because uh, with you know our marriage and stuff, we uh, we want to be able to regularly take go on dates and regularly have um, time together. But we're also just pretty particular about who we leave our kids with. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with getting a babysitter, but that's where we are just more comfortable with right. family and with Will's mom. So we, we need that. We want that help, but also even just the overall experience of living near um, involved grandparents is just really, I think, priceless. So. Yeah, and my parents, you uh, would have seen them in the video, the 34th Street lights, those are my parents in that video mm -hmm. um, that had come up, and um, what were you about to say? I was just going to say it also puts us really, really close to um, Will's dad and stepmom too, so it will make yeah, it easier. Yeah, they live easier. in celebration right outside Disney, so, you know, raising young kids, having grandparents that are close by and one grandparent that is on Disney World's yeah, doorstep. I mean, I mean, come on. I feel like if we, if we <laughs> didn't move and like Basie and Early got older, they would be like, so you mean to tell me we could have been close to our grandparents so we could have been going to Disney really often right. and you didn't move, you know? Yeah. So. And how Kristen already like alluded to like being able to have dates and more regular time off. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've had three dates since, since was early born. was born he's seven months old he's seven months old months so i mean it's been a long time yeah. and granted like we said and we'll talk about this later too we're, we are very selective yeah, we are. of who watches our children and that's just a just sacrifice hard. that we're willing to make mm -hmm. um another reason that kind of goes along with why we're moving to florida as well like we've talked about the climate and how cold it can get here mm -hmm. which for me and Kristen is it's not good for our mental health yeah so we want to be able to live somewhere that doesn't matter the time of year. We can always go outside and just be in the sun. You know, it's good for our kids. Our Basie loves to be outside. She would run and play and jump in dirt all day long if she could. And for me, having a remote job, I there are days where I can be literally stuck in the house all day, you know, not needing to yeah. leave or anything. And with the weather outside, you know, it's, it's it, not a good incentive here. No, and especially this year with all the sicknesses going around with yes. flu and RS. Like we were, we were very particular about not going out during that stuff either, because yeah. we didn't want our kids to get yeah. sick. We already had an experience in October with RSV, and we didn't want to repeat that again. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So it's we noticed that when we travel to Florida, and we know that it's often we've been on vacation, but we'll go stay with. Will's mom for like three weeks. So it's long mm -hmm. enough to kind of get into a groove. We're wanting to get outside. We're wanting to go to the beach. We're wanting to go to the pool. We're wanting to be active. Yeah. And that's just a lifestyle that we cannot have here as much as we love Maryland and we'll love visiting because mm -hmm. we have family and friends here that are very special to us. Um, and it wasn't a decision that we made lightly. Right. But when we really thought about it, we were like, there's just too many pros and um, also bring into that uh, our last point is we wanted to do something new. I'm a Marylander. Both of my sides of the family are from Maryland. Um, I've lived in different places in my life, but Maryland has always been my home base. I've been so basically for 30 years I've been here and I'm somebody that likes change. I like uh, adventure and excitement and I want to do something new and it's the time would be to do it now when the kids are young um, so we want a change of scenery Will's been here since he's been in third grade yeah. so it's and it's not even just like we've just been in Maryland we we well let me speak for myself I've been in Central Maryland all this time at least Will was you were in Southern Maryland <laughs> And then Central Maryland, so right. I mean, you know. But it's it's kind yeah. of the, the, it's kind of the same thing over and over again. And mm -hmm. some people love that, but I, we would like a new adventure, something like to kind different. Of shake it up, yeah. You know? So that's our big announcement. Yes. So we've been we've been filming.
Here he goes. Okay. So we've been, um, we've already started uh, packing. So we've been filming mm -hmm. that already for you guys that you'll see soon. Um, we have. We've taken things off the walls, been patching holes, but not like we have huge holes in the wall, but you know, from like putting things, things up, from pictures. you know, things from pictures and things like that. And, and we've been doing some repairs to our uh, shower bath fitter and things like that just to kind of get the home in tip top shape. Sale. And we are incredibly blessed because the previous owners of this home, they had bought this condo when it was built yeah, and they lived so here for great. 30 years and they had spent so much time and just love in this place. Um, you know, floors redone, kitchen yes. redone, new water heater, new appliances, new washer dryer. So we kind of also kind of get to reap the benefits of that because everything's yeah, not Yeah, because we're selling old. so soon after we purchased. Yeah. The stuff that they did is still great. And they left so many meticulous notes. Like we have to patch paint, right? And they left us this huge binder of all their manuals and user guides and yeah, all of their receipts great. for the paint. So I know exactly which paint color to go get. I mean, they were wonderful homeowners and I can't wait to pass all that information to the next homeowners. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a privilege living here, but we are we are ready and like Kristen said over the next couple of videos you'll probably see some clips of us packing and uh you know getting everything together to be ready for this next step yeah and like bringing you along on that process because it's this while we have this is our second home that we've owned mm -hmm. but this is our first time doing a big um across country move we've never moved right. outside right. of the so there's a lot that goes into that that we'll also bring you guys along on. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. We're so excited to let it go. The cat's out of the bags because like some of the videos that we've been filming, we're like, wait, oh no, I don't think we, we could say that yet because <laughs> right. we haven't announced it. So now it's the cat's out of the bag. Yeah, we're excited. Super excited. And excited to bring you all along with us on our journey. Yes. So yeah, but we'll see you guys next time on Week's Watch. Watch. Hey y'all, it's editing Kristen and Will here, and I realized that we left out a big detail as to why we chose Jacksonville, Florida. Um, I don't even know if we said Jacksonville. Oh yes, we, we did. Okay. But we chose Jacksonville because um, we want to be close to Will's parents, so it puts us that will put us thirty to forty-five minutes from yeah. his mom and stepdad. But, and then that still also just puts us like two hours from my dad and stepmom. Yeah. Right. But um, St. Augustine is a lovely city and we do like it. But in terms of diversity for a family that looks like ours, St. Augustine is mostly white um, racially. And so Jacksonville has a little bit, a lot more uh, racial diversity. And so mm -hmm. when it comes to our family, that's something that we have to think about when we move places. And if you know any of you know anything about Maryland, especially Central Maryland, it is probably one of the most diverse places in the country. Yeah, probably, it is so yeah. diverse. Yeah. Um, and that's something that we love about this area and that we'll miss. Um, mm -hmm. So in talking about making this big move, one of the things that we didn't want to compromise was that diversity. And so Jacksonville seemed like a good way to kind of still attain that goal. So, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys.